Hey everyone, I'm going to do a craft project today. So I got some items from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to work with. And then I got this new, it's called a Mongdict full size hot glue gun. It's different than the one I have been using. It's bigger. Um, and it has a little thumb tip thing with it that I noticed. It's really neat. So I'm going to try that out. But first, let me show you some things that I got from the Dollar Tree. They had these little jars, the screw top lid. It comes in the organization section. Um, they're only $1.25. I want to use one of these. And then I found another jar that I also like. I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to make my projects out of each of these jars, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, these are LED hanging lamps. They were at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue it onto these glass jars. And then it already has a little hanger on it so you can hang it and you can sit it outside on your porch. I'm gonna get this glue gun out. I really like the size of this. It is a whole hand width tall. It has this neat little trigger gun point. It has a lot on the back of it. Um, they even sent some of these little things that go on your fingers to keep from burning your fingers, which that's really cool. Get that open. And then it also came with a packet of glue sticks. And these glue sticks look larger than the ones I'm used to using. And they actually are. Okay, so I'll have to order some more of these. But it looks like it'll go quite far. Now, it has a switch on the side is on and off so let's go ahead and get this plugged up and let it start heating so that we can have it ready to go and get ready to glue our craft project together okay on the cord there getting it in. I'm just going to plug it up over here. And okay, cool. It shows the switch on the back when it's on. That light lights up orange when it's off. And then there's also a red light. So I'm going to have to look at the instructions to see what that red light means and what the orange light means and what the difference is. All right, connect the power cord with the hot glue gun, insert glue stick, squeeze the trigger to push the glue stick until it's firmly engaged. Um, so what does these little colored lights mean? Hmm. Okay, the indicator power light will be red if you select 80 watts on the glue gun and yellow if you select 120. So if it lights up yellow, it's hotter. You can see that. So that's hotter. The bottom switch and then the top switch is not as hot on 80. So I'm going to start out with 80. Put my glue gun stick in there. Now. While that is heating up, get my little LED lamp ready. So I'm just going to cut the tag off. And I'm going to do this jar first. So we're going to glue this lamp into this jar. 
the bottom has a sticker, so I'm just going to pull that off. I don't want the sticker on there. I may have to scrub that because it's going to stick. I hate stickers. The worst thing about a sticker on a product, product is not being able to get it completely off. It leaves a stinking residue. I usually soak things in uh, dish liquid and hot water for a little bit and that helps it come off easier but anyway i'm not gonna sit here and dig that off okay i don't know how long it's gonna take for this gun to heat up hmm. it says preheat for one to three minutes then start your project okay hot bread all right and i like how it has a little trigger so that means it doesn't i'm guessing it doesn't start until you push that trigger and i've got that glue gun inserted into there i don't know if i have it all the way or not but anyway all right now really simple this is just going to make i love lights and this is going to make a little hanging light and i'm going to actually have to glue that top to it all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put my glue around this glass part. And I probably should go ahead and put these little fingertip safety things on there. That's a really cool feature. I really like that, how they sent those to help protect your fingers. Because how many times have you burnt your fingers with a stinking glue gun? It is not fun. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's see. First time using this, so I'm trying to see how much is going to come out at once. Looks like you have to maybe pump it a couple of times. There it goes. All right, I'm going to put quite a bit of glue around this because I want it to stick really well. Um, okay, I think I want to go around and do an extra layer because I missed a few spots when I was first trying to pump that out. That way, it'll make sure that it gets glued on there really well. Now, when you go to put your lamp on there, I'm guessing that the hard part is going to be getting it completely even okay all right that's the thing getting it even and that stuck on there pretty good okay all right had to lift it up just a little bit and then Looks like I'm going to have to put some more glue on there. That dries so quick, or maybe it's just not heated good. I'm going to redo this because that glue stick, look how quick that dried. So I'm going to have to be fast the next time putting that on there. So we'll try this again, okay? Okay, take two on gluing this down I actually changed my setting had on the red that's 80 watts I didn't feel like it was hot enough so I'm putting it on the orange one because the orange well it's calling it yellow it looks kind of orange the yellow light is 120 watts and it says preheat for one to three minutes okay so I put it on the yellow we should have enough time by now to go ahead and try this again because when I first did it on the red I don't feel like it was hot enough because the glue didn't even feel hot at all and I don't know if that's a safety feature with this particular glue gun or not but let's try this again and see how it works okay you have to pump it few times to get it to go around there pretty good and I'm gonna try to be a little bit faster getting this LED lamp on there go around it again and just put some extra 
pot boil because I want it to stick. I don't want it to just not stick and I might have put too much there, but that's okay. I'll just pour that out. All right, there we go. Just gonna let me grab it. That stick seemed to go pretty quick too. I'm not quite sure about that part. All right, let's try this again now. First time I stuck it on there, it didn't seem to be even. And this time I want it to be even on my rim, okay? That looks even. Now I'm gonna hold that down for just a few seconds. I didn't touch the glue, so I don't know if it's hot or not, but I want it to stay. And it might be even better if you get some of that E, I think it's E6000 glue. I've never used it before, but I've watched other YouTubers do craft projects using it and they say it works really, really well. I don't know if you could even use that in place of this or not. I don't know how expensive it is. But anyway, there's the light. It's glued on there. It looks pretty even. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, that is cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I don't wanna pull on it too much, but as you can see, it's holding pretty steady right there. You can put it outside on your porch. I mean, you don't even have to put it outside on your porch. You can put it in your house. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is with this little screw top jar. I'm going to take that off, get another one here, and cut the tag off. And I actually think that the temperature setting on my glue gun works better with the yellow orange light, okay? That has to be, oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. That's how that's going to look. I'm going to turn it off till I get it glued on there. All right, let's try this one. Just for a second, because I didn't touch the glue last time at all. So I'm gonna go around through there, get a good bead of glue, and then I'm gonna go back around it and put another squirt around it so that it holds really well. Now, you just have to be careful about putting your bulb down in there that you don't get glue on it. And when you set it on there on the top, got to make sure you get it good and even. That looks pretty even. I'm going to press that down, hold it for just a few seconds. And turn the switch on. And there we go. Simple, easy to do craft, just using those little LED hanging lamps and any type of jar that you can find from the Dollar Tree. Um, they had some really cute ones in the summer that I liked. They were a frosted glass, but I tried to find those. I couldn't find them. Okay, so here both of them are lit up. Those are really cute. I like them. Let me turn those off. So the glue gun seems to work pretty well. Not so sure about how long these glue sticks last. I know I wasted some in the beginning because I didn't have it hot enough. Now I'm gonna turn my switch to off. When it's off, that light will go off. You either go up or down for your temperature. One's lower, one's higher. And then it has the trigger. And I also like how it sits there. You know, you've had those glue guns to where you have to lay them down. They don't have a base, okay? And there we have it, guys. Um, some cute little LED glass lamps that you can create yourself from things you get from the Dollar Tree, which are only $1.25 each. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to my channel, share it out, and I'll see you next time on A Day in the Life of Jen.